berserk now. And the problem I've got with that is if they go berserk and they end up doing what Grasshopper did, I won't get out of here because they'll end up killing everybody. I got laws and tackles I can use for this. I have to use both years. I don't want to, but we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping nobody else goes berserk, but we've got two more people on the edge, so we'll see how it goes. Whoop, hold up. Give it a sec. There we go. There we go. Alright. I kind of want tackles to wait a moment until Laws is closer, because Laws has got a shield. Laws has got like five, and they've got three. That's not great, because Barrow's got five. We'll see how this goes. I'm not allowed to leave the house unless I get married, so I think I'm okay with finding a job I want. Um, I mean, yeah, if that works for you. Um, I don't know. Like, if you've got the time to like stay with family, don't walk out their tackles. Just say that. If you've got the time and the security to stay with family until like you move out and stuff, at least you don't have to necessarily. Getting stuff from oh there, yeah. At least you don't necessarily have to worry about like where's your food coming from, you know. Are you going to have, um, you know, are you going to have? Oh shit, fuck. Hold on. Are you going to be able to like look after yourself and whatever this month and stuff like that, you know, um, stuff like that. Like I'm very lucky. I'm not in a position where I had to wait to like get married to leave. I fucking left two weeks shy of 18. I just fucking went. Like, fuck that shit. Um, and yeah, I pretty much... I don't know, I'm a, I'm a strange fucking creature. I pretty much moved out, rented for a while. Helped the people that were renting renovate their place. Um, and yeah, pretty much... They gave me a bit of, like, the sale of the house money, which was really nice for helping out with, like helping learn how to fucking landscape tile electrical stuff lay carpets fucking paint walls build fences all sorts of shit i learned from them um and that allowed me to get a house but then i also used what i learned from them to basically like turn that house around and like sell it the year later with like a bunch of more kind of uh what do you call it modern day upgrades and stuff Barrow finished having a fit. Nice. Um, which allowed me to, like, move into this place that I was, like, building in the meantime. Is Barrow just finished? Falling to bed. Yeah, they are. Okay. Can I get you to stop being in the caravan and I'll save you? I reckon my caravan is going to try to leave as it is, unfortunately, and I won't have enough people. But, yeah, basically I come from – I'm a really, really fucking unusual situation. I really am. I am not, I'm not an example of like my era. I'm kind of like 15, 20 years ahead of the mark for my age kind of thing. So um, yeah, a lot of what I do, uh, just assume it's supposed to be shit that somebody like 20, 30 years older than me is probably doing. Please tell me that's here because if that's, oh, no, nah, it's not. I was going to say, I'm expecting that whole fucking lot to go mental and not try to leave. But, yeah, we're not having Kimmy do that. Everybody's shitty here because nobody has a bed. They all have to sleep in this shithole and nobody likes it. I get it. And everybody's been in transit for a long time. Come on, get back. Twitch Studio is really having issues with that lately. All right, let's beat the shit out of it and I'll have my hydrate. Thanks, Rin. I said, yeah, that because I would have a lot less troubles with money. I'm not in a rush to get a job. I can just take my time with that. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a lot more kind of life security there. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, at least for me, I couldn't, if I was waiting to get married, fucking hell, I, I would even hate it. Oh, Bear, where's Bear? I would hate it if, like, I had to do that. But that is just me. I am a... I don't know. What are those, like, seriously fucking independent people that's like, no, fuck that, I'm out. Ah, tackles. Why'd you do it? Now we have to roll back. I, at the moment, I can't get anybody that's kind of, like, given up or run wild and stuff to rejoin the colony. 
So until we can get like, what's his name? I've forgotten his name. Um, until whatever his face decides to, you know, rejoin the colony and proves that that is actually possible. I am not allowing like people giving up and trying to like run wild and stuff because it's, I can't risk having so many of my colonists just fucking leave. I could have tried to arrest them probably. That is something I probably could have done for giving up, but I don't want to be trying to, I don't know, have half of my people in prison because they're just shitty with this place. I'd rather them end up in like a tantrum and go around like swearing at people and get their ass handed to them or go on a food binge for fuck's sake. Like why can't more people do food binges? It's not a problem for my colony. Even though we didn't really have that much. You broke your chair. The fuck did you do? You're sitting on it or like is it just kind of like falling apart a bit? To be fair, I have like I don't sit on my chairs properly, so I've broken a couple of them because I sit cross legged. You're not really supposed to do that on like computer chairs or executive chair type things. So yeah. I've uh I've had mine snap a couple of times because of that. that that's also what happened to this chair out of interest. Um the chair is really broken. Uh, have you got something else you can sit on, like, in the time being? Or, like, get it replaced and stuff? Because uh, obviously, like, you can't probably just get it replaced today, but have you got another chair you can sit on? Oh, I look at that with my chair. I'm, like, I'm hearing it, like, click and clack and stuff now since it fell over last, and I'm, like, at some point I'm going to have to replace this monstrosity. And I don't really want to do it. I don't want to do it for two reasons. One, it has a nice ass groove in it for me sitting on it for so many hours, you know. So I don't really want to give that up. Who the fuck wants to give up a good ass groove? Second of all, like, it's uh, it's expensive to replace chairs. Um, like, I don't want one of those, like, bucket seat gaming chairs. I don't like them. They're not comfortable for my back and hips because I've got injuries and shit, right? But... I do tend to like like executive chairs that are a bit more heavy duty kind of side. I have like the big back on them because then my cats can sleep on the top of the back as well, which of course leads to them tipping over at some point, but that's another issue. I like chairs that have armrests too because I tend to lean on shit a lot and I also adjust how I'm sitting cross-legged by pulling myself up with the, the armrest bits as well, so I need that. But I don't know. I wouldn't mind one of those like – not like the firm, shitty ergonomic chairs, but I wouldn't mind, like my partner has a really light work ergonomic chair. That's not too bad. I wouldn't mind that, but I don't feel like it would last long because it's just made out of mesh and that shit scares the crap out of me. I'm like, I just probably, I'd sit on it wrong one day or the cat to claw it and it would just form a hole or some shit and I'd fall on it. I know I would. That's how that shit works. That's how handles are broken and loose and my back leaning thing is completely broken. I have to basically neck snap it back into place. Jesus. Um, yeah, a lot of the chairs that are held on with the handles, like they hold the back on to the base with the handles, they are not really good long-term, I've found. I tend to find ones that have a hard-molded solid panel of back and butt kind of section, like an, like an L shape. I like those with like attachable handles because at least for me, they last a lot longer. Um, like I never lean back, so I don't really like get the backrest part of it. That shit's more for my cats, but I do like the plushy bum part and the armrests and stuff. But I will use my seat until it is not usable anymore. Like the pleathery stuff is like pretty cracked and sharp and worn and stuff. That's terrible in summer. Um, and the stitching and stuff is pulling apart all throughout the chair, but it's fine. It still works. And uh, the only thing that would probably concern me is if one of the arms snapped off and I'd like go to like readjust myself, I'd probably just fall straight out of the chair. <laughs> I've done that twice. <laughs> I've, I've literally fallen out of my chair at my desk a couple of times. And the worst part is this thing has a, um, little pin underneath the seat that like every so often comes loose and sends my chair just flying fucking backwards, scares the shit out of me every time. I always like knee the desk from underneath. It hurts so bad too. But um, yeah, I have to push that in at least daily to get it to stay. I've thought about like, I've thought about welding it. I've thought about gluing it, all sorts of stuff. And I'm like, it just, uh, I don't think it would work. 
I feel like in some way it would just fuck it up. Where's Bowman? Oh, you got people around you, you'd be right. So many of my people are going berserk. It's actually really funny to me. I don't know if I need to save this because I've got two people doing it, but it's fine. This time, actually, the neck actually snapped too much and it came apart. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, it happens. Let's now have a special feature, I unlocked chair storage, and now I also have unlocked the removable back leaning thing. So the funny thing is, when my last chair broke, this was the, I'm talking about the last chair that I had separate top and back bit to, right? I ended up keeping the bottom bit and I used that as a footrest. Well, we kept it for a long time. It's pretty fucking worn out. I have a proper footrest now. But um, the back bit that fell off. So I ended up uh, like laying that on the ground for a time. And I ended up like the cats just kind of like took over and was like, oh, sweet, new bed. So, yeah, they're very happy with it. I think we've long since gotten rid of it. I can't remember how long ago this was. But, yeah, it was great for a while. And we normally, whenever the seats break like that, we normally just keep the bottom of it and replace it as a footstool. Because then it's a footstool with wheels. Like, the footstool that I've got now is a legitimate proper footstool, so I can sit here cross-legged. But um, it doesn't have wheels. And the amount of times I've accidentally hit my leg on it really badly from underneath and it fucking hurts. That's the thing that I actually broke my toes on, by the way. It is solid. But yeah, for sure fucking worth it. Um, I don't know if we can get you to medical care. I guess, let's see. We've got enough sort of things here. Do we have medical stuff? We kind of do. We've got three of that. Oh no, we got heaps of things around here. We'll see how this goes. I'm pretty sure somebody over here was still... Not Laws. It's not Laws, right? That's hurt. It's you that's carrying one in. Vivo's coming in to tend. Is... What's his face? Nah, has Chica still fucking around? It's fine. Live and be. Yeah, the back thing just hangs on the chair. Where I can place my duct tape on it and that's it. Well. Um... I always found, like, the back of chairs are too heavy to kind of duct tape properly. But then again, a lot of the chairs that we've got, like, are normally either gaming or, like, executive office chairs and stuff. Like, I tend, like I said, I tend to like the executive office chairs because the bum part is wider so I can sit cross-legged on it. That's the best part about it for me. But, um, yeah, that doesn't work for everybody. A lot of people like the very sort of stiff, upright kind of gaming chairs, and they're too painful for my back and hip, so I can't use them. Um... I also couldn't sit cross-legged on them. Like, I could try. I have, <laughs> I've done some funny things with my chairs in the past. I have tried to sit cross-legged in chairs that aren't really appropriate for it. And I've gotten stuck and just fallen over with the chair. It's fantastic. Um, my cats just sit there like, the fuck did you just do it? I'm like, it's fine. Don't, don't look at me. I always love the way you say lol. I always laugh. You say it. Oh, yeah. Welcome in, Cell. How you doing tonight? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I tend to lull a fair bit. Like, I don't know. I, I do find, like, a lot of things pretty amusing, though, generally speaking. Lou's no longer dying, so that's great. And now we just got to get this guy tended to. He's, well, he's no longer, uh, he's no longer down to five hours, so that's good. Uh, tackles, mate. What is your, uh, medicals for? I guess you want to go and rest. But could you tend to him, please? Because that would be just amazing. If he's going to survive, I don't actually... Hold up, where's my tentative save? There we go. I have somebody that's coming in that I'm supposed to be tending to, and I don't know if it's Jet or if they're still coming in. Hold up. Uh, no, they should be down here now. Either that or if they've just been brought in. Let's see. Delicious is fine. Jet, no, that's Cat. Jet is fine. Rodder is fine. Dan, Farrell, Trisha, they're all fine. Please tell me that they didn't take the person to a private bed. No, no. I'm not seeing anybody that's in an injured state being far out. No, that's fine. If everybody's alive and well, that's fantastic. Oh, hydrate, Ren. Thank you. Good question. What question? I have some water. Hold up. None of these are prisoners or anything. Read books out loud? No, I don't. 
So, fun fact is, before I started streaming, I actually was really, really bad at reading out loud. I'm really fast at reading internally. Like, I can read things really, really quickly. Um, I just do. But I was really terrible at reading out loud. If you go to my YouTube and you watch my, my old videos where I'm reading somebody's message out loud, oh my god, you'll feel the physical pain of, like, listening to that because, like, it takes me so much to read it. Like, I'm not too bad now, and I generally keep up with conversation and shit, but, yeah, it's it's practice. It's legit practice. But I didn't, like, practice working on reading books out loud or anything like that, none of that. Um, it's just been mostly just the speed in which I've learned to, like, see a message. Because the thing is, when you guys comment, when you guys say something, the message only pops up on my screen for 10 seconds. So I only have 10 seconds to read whatever fucking paragraph you guys might have said. So sometimes I'd be like, oh, hang on. I need to like look at my other screen and like read the rest of it kind of thing. Because sometimes messages are longer than 10 seconds. And I generally commit whatever I've read to memory to finish reading out the sentence, which is why sometimes I get stuff a little bit wrong. And then obviously reply to it and stuff. I think your voice is very soothing and very good for books and things like that. So I've had a couple of people say that with the um, novel games that I've played in the past that have like people have asked me to play more of them so that they can hear me like read out stories and stuff. I don't have a problem with it. I just don't have a lot of like novel games. Oh fuck off, seller. No. Nope. Uh wait, it's gave up. Let's go fucking capture them. Where are you? So, I've been kind of rolling shit back with the view that, like, my people are not... Hold up, let's get a decent warden out here. My people have not been uh, rejoining my group after I kind of capture people that have kind of given up or left and stuff. So, I'm kind of hoping that this goes right. Nobody has good social here at all. Maybe it's terrible. Like, terrible. Give me just a second. None of yous are good. Bernard, nope. Um, nope. One of yous have got to have a half decent social. There we go. Can you go and just capture... There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get you and see how that fucking goes. Alright. Good thanks for day. It's been good so far. Managed to get my third printer working again. So happy days. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. Um, also nice. Um, you did some 3D printing. What kind of stuff you print? Um, my day's been pretty alright, so I pretty much wake up in the afternoon, evening. The last couple of days I've been waking up, well, sorry, going to sleep at about five, so I haven't been getting a lot of sleep. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's It's been alright. I kind of woke up, um, spent some time chatting with my partner, started a stream. <laughs> That's been about it. I've been awake for about probably less than four hours, probably about that but um yeah and my day is just starting basically so um like after i stream and stuff i'll go on to edit my vod and upload it to like youtube and do other stuff you know engage with my community watch other streamers and yeah then i'm around about i don't know uh probably around about 8 a.m or something about there i'll probably start winding down into my personal time and um, uh, you know, have a shower, have some food, my meal for the day. Um, I don't know, maybe read something, maybe watch something, see how it is. And then, yeah, hopefully go to sleep at an appropriate fucking hour. For me, that's like 10 a.m. Preferably. My, my daytime, nighttime's reversed. So when I'm talking about 10 a.m., for most people, just think that it's like your 10 p.m. You get tired around that time, give or take, right? So, yeah, that's kind of how I that's how I kind of, like, live. Where did the person... Oh, there we go. Fucking good on you, lasagna. Um, all right, so these people I can still do. It's the run wilds I won't roll back for. Cool, cool. Let me save that. Uh, was it I do know a novel game, but I don't think you would like it? depends what the novel games are because um if it's something that's like mature content 18 plus i don't mind playing it so long as it's obviously not like uh 
got some kind of like sexual shit in it. Um, but like, like I said, it depends. Like I haven't got to do random game night for the last month. I haven't really got to dabble into any other games and stuff that much. Um, but that will be coming back next month anyway. So it'll be fine. Hopefully we'll start getting some decent random game nights and stuff. Tomorrow is supposed to be monthly art stream. I still don't know what I'm drawing yet, so we'll see how that goes. But, yeah, my music and playlist and shit will still be live, so that's that to look forward to. I figure even if it's not a long art stream, even if I can just do some stuff or draw some stuff, like maybe that would be all right, you know? I've just been printing some upgrades. I printed Belcour from The Never Ending Story. I am not too familiar with the never ending story, unfortunately, but is Falcor like the the dog flying dog thing? Because like that's the only thing that I could kind of think of. Like, I don't know. I think that would look very cool as like a 3D printed thing, is what I'm trying to say. Um That's a very cute Oh yeah, it is. Sweet. Yeah, no, that'd be pretty sick. I know the dog. I know the dog thing. I just don't know the story. I basically had a car accident when I was 18 and I don't really remember like any TV movies music uh, stuff like that from like before the age of 18 so I probably watched it I just don't remember it and I haven't I haven't encountered a time yet where I've tried to rewatch it you know or sit down and watch it kind of thing it, it's weird it, it's it's funny sometimes because people are like have you seen this and I'm like start describing it and we'll get about three quarters of the way through and I'll tell you if I have or not um, that's a legitimate example of what my like memory before 18 is like. It's just funny because I remember all sorts of shit about all sorts of people. How you doing, Rav? What are you up to tonight? I was uh, lurking in your, what the fuck was it, GTFO or GTO? Was it GTFO? I was, uh, fucking, I was lurking in that this morning, by the way. I, I can't remember what the fucking game abbreviation is. I just, I can't. It's been a day. That's what it's been. So it's very cute and sweet and chibi, and I think you said you don't like that kind of stuff. Uh, probably not. So I don't mind, like, story-based stuff. I just like it having kind of, what do you call it? I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain the kind of, like, graphic novel games that I like to play. Um, like, Coffin of Andy and Lele is not a really good standpoint for the shit that I like to play, but I really like that game. Um, what was another one I liked? Like, I've been playing, like, some Typing Chronicles and shit like that, which is kind of storytelling stuff, but, uh, it seems like not a lot of people are super hugely interested in seeing that, so, yeah, that's fine. But I enjoyed it. That was the main thing. I had a fucking blast for, like, a couple weeks there. But, uh, GTFO, yeah. It's basically get the fuck out. I thought so, because I'm like, I thought you had to kind of, like, abbreviate it to be able to get it to as a title and stuff even though it's not even though it's not like swearing because like the game and shit it's like twitch had issues with it i thought it was funny moment the fuck you doing is this where they took him oh this is where they took him hmm i wonder how long we've had you yeah psychic shock land that i don't want that to be tainted pacho mate are you still catatonic yes Yes, you are. I love how they keep taking them to the furthest fucking part. Franklin is a healer. We do have medical stuff here. But I don't know if I could get to you in two hours. My base is pretty huge. No, I'm not rolling back for that. So, let's grab somebody from down here who's got medicine and send them up. The horse. I know you, oh, you don't have medical. You're the other one. Let's see. Chizuka? Yeah, you're the one with the medical. All right. Fucking hell. Um, wait, where's Naomi? Naomi's apparently attending. If Naomi isn't in this fucking box, she ain't attending. She is not, and I don't see her on the way up. Alright, Chisuka should be attending. Why can't you do it? There we go. Yeah, go attend. Let's see if we can save her. Otherwise, I've got to roll back and fucking try to save her. Um... It's pretty fun having the game's name on the title is not allowed, which is really funny. I do find it really funny. Um, yeah, no, I've been like, I've kind of been like lurking in and out the last couple of days. I don't always fucking talk. I kind of feel like once I start talking in somebody's stream, I just don't shut up. 
so I'm very mindful, like generally not starting for the most part, especially if I'm working on things that I was working on something I had to focus on all this morning. Uh, that took me till like lunchtime, my time, so I didn't go to bed till basically late afternoon, which is kind of shit. I shouldn't have done that. That's fine. The only part of yesterday was chill session and then the late night was the oh dear god help. You know, I missed the later stuff. I saw like the start of it kind of stuff. I'm free to just yap in any of my streams, I don't mind at all. I know, but from my perspective when I'm trying to work on stuff, as soon as I start talking, I am full committed to a conversation and I will not kind of return to what I'm working on. So, because I had to kind of like focus on what I was doing. I didn't want to start because I'm, like, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to talk until it's time for me to go to sleep. But yeah, no, I know I'm welcome to talk. I know you like talking with your community and stuff too. Yeah, that's 100% real. It's reasonable. Yeah, no, it it took me a long time to work on all the stuff that I was doing this morning. This person's still got like an hour. I'm just waiting to see because as soon as she gets up here, if she needs more medicine, she's got to walk back down. So what I might do... This is going to be a bit wild, but how about I say harvest these, Ender, mate. I don't know if you can do plants, but you can't do plants. What about ginseng? I'm pretty sure ginseng's cook. Gerbil, mate. If I could just get a couple of people. Franklin's also a good medic, right? He's 13. Shizuka's like 14, so I'd rather her come up. But if I could get a couple of people up here harvesting the hill root, then the next thing I need to 10. Also, I saw Kimmy was hurt. Hold on. Um, fuck. Hold on. Mate, how about you? Oh, Tofu's working. Nah, she's got time. Tofu's at 14. That'd be right. Um, so why not talk with voice? Then you can also focus on things you're doing. No, that's not how it works. A waiver. So if Rav is streaming, um, I'm not part of like a voice chat with him, uh, for starters. And like, He'll be live, he'll he'll be speaking, but I can only type in the chat, kind of like you are with me at the moment. Um, the other thing too is I also, I generally in like my introverted natural self, like as a streamer, I'm very uh, contrast to myself, right? But you know how, okay, away, but you know how fucking awkward I got earlier tonight when you gave me that compliment? Imagine that in a regular conversation one-on-one -on -one with somebody. That's what Rav would get if I was talking to him one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can understand that now. It's not okay. <laughs> um, like, I come across really kind of charismatic when I'm streaming. I don't fucking know why. Probably because I'm just having a conversation while I'm playing a game and stuff. Jebel, I don't know what you're doing. How about you drop that? Drop that. No, no, no. Drop it. Fucking leave it. Where are you at? Walk away, mate. Walk away. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but it's very different than how I kind of come across with uh, normal kind of conversing, you know. Uh, I am at heart an introvert, so, you know, it's easy for me, I think, when I'm streaming. It's kind of the difference between driving a car and shit. Like, when I'm the driver, I don't have the slightest problem with traveling if I'm a driver. But if I'm a passenger, I have every fucking problem with it. I really do. Um, so also I can say very nice color palette. Thank you. So this is my alternate form, Kitty Venus, right? And she's got like hair and outfit redeems and stuff like that that work in combination with the Kitty form. Um, but yeah, this is the first time somebody's redeemed her tonight. Um, I kind of brought her out for my one year affiliate anniversary and nobody's redeemed her yet. Um, so I was really like chuffed with that, but yeah, she's got like all sorts of stuff, uh, that I can sort of change between her. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Glad we can see eye to eye with this Lamel. The first time meeting someone on a call with really quiet stuff. I knew fucking Bowman would die. Hold up. Which one's the second last one? Uh, 27, 27. Uh, hold on. They're both on the 22nd. That was the tentative one. I probably was fighting somebody for that, but let's see. That was 10 minutes ago. I could probably save them with 10 minutes. Let's try that. Let's see. Okay, let's let's find out if that's the closest one because this will take a bit. I had to, I had to have a meeting 
meet multiple people around three to six times on call and stuff for me to come for just to talk and yap with them. See, I'm not comfortable on calls with people. Like Discord is a little bit different with people that I know. That's different. But like phone calls or being in a voice call with somebody I don't know, that shit's terrifying. Like I've said this before, I have a phone phobia. I get extreme anxiety when I have to make or take a phone call and stuff. And so like same thing happens. If Discord fucking rings at me, that shit can just go. That's there's a recycling bin on my computer for a reason. Um, you know, and like it's fine when it's uh, a friend or something when it jumping into a voice channel or something, right? That's different. That's a plan to play a game kind of thing, you know. But yeah, no. Phone phones can fuck right off. Um, like I've said this before, I communicate really well via text. I understand te- 